Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at this product. It's the C Reader OBD2 scanner, and it's model 6001. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, at first glance, you may be looking at this thing. What the heck is this? What does it do? Well, if you're in the market for a used car or own a used car or have a newer car, and you know how you can see that little check engine light, or you're taking your car in to get the emission test, uh, whatever may be the case, this unit is going to tell you everything about your car when it comes to the computer, the sensors, any error codes that may be taking place, and you may not know about it. If you're looking to purchase a car, this would be great to plug it in before you buy it, do a scan, and see if there's anything problem, any kind of problem with the car. Are any of the sensors not functional? Are is there any kind of error code? that you should be aware of that could potentially lead to more complicated problems. A unit like this is going to tell you all that and more. Now for those of you who are interested in the full specifications, let's just zoom in here for a couple seconds. I'm not going to read in um, all the features or functions, but pretty much this is going to give you a full host of information when it comes to um, what's going on in your car. Uh, it does have a uh, nice little port that you um, all vehicles have that you'll be able to plug into, and you're going to get a visual uh, feedback as to what's going on with um, your vehicle. Here you have a product comparison chart, so you can see everything that the uh, this unit is capable of. Uh, performing and this is the uh, 6001 so as you can see here it's the third one here and it has again uh, pretty robust capabilities when it comes to uh, reading understanding resetting giving you um, information about your vehicle now every vehicle is going to have one of these ports uh, this happens to be a Toyota vehicle um, and it's located right underneath the steering column. Uh, in most cases you'll have it uh, right underneath your steering column or it could be further um, in the back. Uh, it could be uh, somewhere in that corner there. Uh, whatever be the case, um, all you have to do is plug in the reader into this port and then uh, turn on the scanner. Now the unit itself is self-powered. Uh, you don't have, require any batteries. As soon as you plug it in, even with your car off, it's going to power up. Uh, and what you can do here is just follow the the menu. It's not a touch screen, uh, so what you'll be doing is using the arrow keys and then hitting OK. So what you could do is just select um, that you want to do a diagnose so all I'm doing is going up and down around it and I'm going to choose the OK button here to do a diagnose and it's going to go through and do a scan and uh, give us the results in just a second. So now the next step in this process is just to choose uh, to read the codes. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and you'll notice that you have a couple options. You can read the code, you can erase the code. So if you have a check engine light and it has to do let's say like with um, the oil change and you've already changed it and you can't figure out the code uh, what you can do is just say erase the code. What I'm going to do is hit uh, read codes and it's going to go through and look and see if there's any error codes. This is what you're looking for. The vehicle has no faults. If it had a fault, it'll have a code, and that code is going to lead you to uh, information uh, that you can check on the internet uh, to see what sensor um, uh, has the problem, and then also how do you replace that sensor. So pretty straightforward, easy to use. There's a lot of other features here, uh, but once again, uh, that's the primary use of this reader. Now one last thing I wanted to share with you is that there is a user guide that's found right in between the packaging. Uh, you won't see it when you pull out the, the unit, the scanner outside of the packaging, but it's actually in between the cardboard. And you'll see here that with that you get a lot of details around you know, the different buttons, the controls, um, and also the fact that uh, this unit can be software updated via USB cable. Keep in mind that uh, this USB cable is what you would use for the update. Uh, the unit itself, the scanner, does not require batteries. It gets charged or powered through this port. And in some cases, depending on the year of your car, you don't even have to have the car on in order for this to start up. As soon as you plug it in, this is going to light up, and then you're really going into scanning. There are really, um, there's a lot of uh, advanced features, um, as you can see here, that are included. Uh, with the scanner and it really comes down to what your specific use case is. Again, I use these to really understand the error codes or any kind of sensors uh, that may be malfunctioning in my car um, and then also to erase, um, you know, like the check engine light, especially if it's due to oil. Uh, change and, and if I've already done that I just use that to reset it. I've also used these as I had mentioned just uh, for some friends that um, are looking to purchase a car and they just want to do a scan to understand what's going on with the vehicle. So this concludes my review of the CR6001 uh, scanner. If you have any comments or questions about the product, leave it in the comment area below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.